thoughts on EMF with wireless headphones. And look, the, the, the problem, as I've said with EMFs, the strength of the the actual electromagnetic fields that are actually generated are way smaller. You know, they can they can range from you know the megawatts to the gigawatts. You know, we're talking about we're blasted from the sun. You know, the major electromagnetic sort of um, emissions that actually are coming through the atmosphere, and in the terawatts, it's massive. You know, and we've I've actually. I probably should ask Bart to, you know, because he, I need to find that, um, the video that he did ages ago. And if he doesn't want to put it on his channel, I'll put it on my channel. And I actually did do cover, go right through comprehensively um, a video that I cover EMFs properly, John. And I actually show that there is, you know, they're actually putting them in proper devices and actually blasting them for hours. And there's no activation of heat shock proteins. That means no oxidative stress whatsoever. So we know quite clearly, and this is actually a controlled experiment. Um, so we've got all this sort of stuff. Now, what's the problem with non-native EMFs, in a sense? The problem is the signaling. We get certain emissions from the sun and certain fields that are generated that actually are interacting with the earth. And that actually modulates a number of circadian clocks in our body. And our melanopsin can detect those that photonic energy. And it, and it sort of sinks ourself to the planet. And with these cycles, and it actually affects blood pressure. It affects our energy production. It affects all these things, um, has major ramifications, how our body works and sinks. And that's why non-native EMFs do have the ability to confuse the body, is what it is. And it's not only your headsets and all that. What about the wiring in your home? Those are magnetic fields as well. Some of them can be quite strong, especially some of the old wiring that's poor can actually generate quite a lot of uh, dirty electricity so it's you know it's not it's you know so our, the biggest problem is this the and also the some of the frequencies are in the blue spectrum green and blue but in particular the blue ones and while at night we can actually put these sort of things on to protect the major receptor which is in the eye our melanopsin the concentration is much higher we do have some melanopsin on our skin and all that. And so we are getting for other internal clocks some, you know, problematic signaling. That's why I've got those lights as well. It's not only this, I've got actually lights in this place. Um, and then after I finished here, I usually will turn that off and I'll turn on the red light and I'll just be basically be sitting. And I've got a projector. I don't even have a TV anymore. I have a projector. I project stuff on my screen on the wall that i mean so yeah so to, to minimize the blue light exposure which is sort of critical the way i see it um so it's 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 a question of bringing it down now compared to diet diet is far more important but it does have an effect and so the more we can reduce some of the exposure some of us are more sensitive than others but, you know, it's not ionizing, so we don't have to worry about that. It's And it's not intense to create oxidative stress. That doesn't happen. But the only thing that does happen is in terms of circadian and signaling. That's where some of the problems lie. And that's why I usually tell people, go out early in the morning as the sun's coming up in order to sink yourself to the planet. And you'll actually notice if you actually just sit in the home and just walk around, you'll be droopy, half asleep, you know, and all that. The moment you get out and you get that signaling, you come alive. That's the cortisol being, you know, the body goes, oh, I know this signal. And then you, you activate your, um, your body. So even then, if you go into the environment in this non-native type environment, the body just says, I know it's morning because it, it you've already told me you've given me the right signals now we're inside okay that you know because sometimes let's say even in the real world 
before tribal people that walk under you know under foliage or under certain things or through things and the spectrum may change slightly so the body expects that to some extent a change of spectrum and so but if you sit you don't sink it early in the morning it's confused it doesn't know what time it is you know so that's the trick that's why we use that trick employed in order to sink ourselves we can't escape unless we go bush you can't escape the modern world but you can minimize the derangements that it causes i would wish we had outside lights that are that are pretty much like a um rather than having all these neon lights and all that in some countries like the traffic lights i think in parts of germany I, I don't know whether all of germany but some people have told me that they have those amber lights which is exactly like this one above here it's an amber light so that plays a big role. Um, so some societies have realised the potential uh, for blue light being a problem. A lot of ophthalmologists now recognise it as a problem and, um, and eye, causing eye problems. Some people that are enlightened um, and are in politics recognise it and start pushing it. You know, so in some regions around the world, it is they are changing the lighting. Of their um their streets their street lighting for that reason it depends but it's a hit and miss it's not comprehensive um and not all ophthalmologists or people that are involved in eye health are aware of it as well a lot of them are but not but there are some that aren't that are not up to date so it's a bit of a mixed bag so yeah but i wouldn't worry in terms of it causing any sort of major like health problems of oxidative stress or anything like that it's more it will be in an indirect effect but you can actually slightly mitigate it with some of some steps that you can make yourself so it's not you're not completely unable to to deal with it